Good afternoon. I am back in the back area of the Dayspring United Methodist Church property. And when I was here the last time, a few years ago, I took a walk and I found this tree. And you notice that, I mean, there are trees all around here, but all of them are just really upright and straight. But this particular tree, let me see if I can get it going the right way. This particular tree, you know, it has a lot of bumpy knobs on it. A couple of places, the branches, there were branches that might have fallen off, but they are those big spherical um, growths on that tree. Those are, those are called burls. And a burl is a place that a tree has been either diseased or injured or damaged in some way. And it's important because um, the wood that grows inside that burl is very dense as the tree tries to heal itself. And so the, the grain that forms in there is very decorative. It, it, when, you, when you slice a, a, a piece of a, a burl wood, um, it's, it's just the most gorgeous pattern that you can imagine. Um, but it doesn't happen unless the tree is damaged. And so it, it's really kind of a wonderful metaphor for me. And I've, I've loved this tree because the burl on it is so large. Um, it, it reminds us that, that when we go through some difficult times, and gosh, haven't we all done that, um, we heal from those times. And because we heal, we, we come out looking we, we come out with a strength and a depth of beauty that is so much more than it ever than it would have been if we had just continued to go on a straight path. So we need the curves in our lives. We need the we need the disruptions. We need the chaos. Um, we need to have some time of disruption to help us heal and grow into something even more beautiful. Uh, this place is such an inspiring place for me, and I'm so honored that I can be here for my last classes with Course of Study, but uh, but I, I'm always going to cherish this particular tree. Um, connection with nature here is real strong, but but the I look at that burl and I think, wow, when, when that tree is done with its life, and it is still growing, but it's an, it's an old tree, it's an old tree, and it's been through a lot of life. Um, so when it when it is ready, I, I pray that I am able to see how beautiful it is inside. So think about how that applies to you. Um, all the little nooks and crannies of your life that are a little less desirable and a little less elegant. It's really causing you to have some beautiful depth in your soul. So God bless you on this beautiful day. Amen.